Well, hi everybody, welcome back to Crate and Art. Today we're gonna to make over these cute little signs I found at the Dollar Tree. So you're gonna need a glue gun, I have some black paint, some liquid nails, I have some red paint, a pair of really sharp scissors, I have a cork. We're gonna need two of these little trays I got at the Dollar Tree and a um, foam painting brush here. Doesn't matter what size. I just happen to have a big one there. And two of these Dollar Tree signs. So that's all we're going to need. So let me get situated. We can get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is remove all the strings. And then we're going to take these scissors and cut about a quarter inch above where the end of the wagon is but these scissors were not strong enough so I had to go get my tin snips and it cut it really super easy so I went ahead and just finished cutting it all the way across there's actually a little groove right there where I followed along and now the next thing I'm going to do is round the edge the corners of them a little bit so they're not sharp and now I'm going to bend this backwards and I have these little pliers like flat needle nose and I'm just lightly bending it along the top edge of the wagon. So you just want to go along and keep bending it just a little bit. And then I try to bend it but it's really really strong so I just went ahead and went back and re-bent it a little bit more. And so now I'm going to get a piece of wood and a little hammer and I'm just going to tap that down with my hammer. Not real hard and just do a little bit at a time till it gets nice and flat. It kind of made it curl up a little bit so I just turned it over and tapped it lightly from the front side. Just to take that little arch out of it. Now go ahead and finish and do that with your other one. So now you have two sides of your wagon. So next thing you want to do is you want to take these cute little trays that got the Dollar Tree and you're just going to smack off one end of each one of these, the longer side. And if there's any little shreds or pieces, just trim them off with some scissors or an X-Acto knife. And then these two little um, trays here will glue together with some hot glue. So I just lined them up and then ran a bead of hot glue along the edge of this and then just stuck them together. It doesn't really have to be perfect because you're not gonna see this much anyways. I went ahead and added glue to the back side just to make it a little bit stronger. Okay, so now I'm going to just measure this and see where I wanna stick the little sign. And then I'm gonna take my liquid nails and I'm going to add that to the end of these two little trays. And then I'm going to put hot glue so the ne liquid nails will take a little bit to dry. So then I add hot glue to give it an immediate adhesion while the liquid, na liquid nails is drying. So I went ahead and put some on there and now I'm going to add the hot glue. And then I'm just going to stick the one side lining it up on the bottom edge. And then I'm going to repeat that. On the other side. And add your other sign, lining it up. You want to make sure you have it level so all your tires fit, hit the ground. Now here I'm just going to add some more glue and hold it till it dries to keep the signs on. It doesn't look like it's going to hold up, but it eventually will stick. Okay, so now I'm going to take this foam brush. And I'm going to tear off all the foam part of it. And I'm going to trim it down with some scissors because it was a little too long. And now I'm taking my cork and I'm going to dig out a hole in that so the end of that paintbrush will fit right down inside of there. So once I get it to the right size, I will add some hot glue 
and then I will stick that paintbrush in right in there. And now I'm going to take some hot glue and put it on the end of the plastic there and just glue it right into the end of the crate or the end of the little trays there. I was going to add the checkers. I decided not to do that. I don't think it needs it. So now I'm going to paint it and I'm going to paint it red. But I'm not going to paint the front sides because it already has my um, pumpkin saying on there. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Down the road, I might end up just taking it outside and spray painting it a different color. But for right now, I'm going to leave it red. I think it's super fun. Now I'm going to take some black and I'm going to paint the handle. I'm going to paint it black. And then I'm going to paint the inside of just the tires black. I didn't bother painting the bottom because you don't really see it anyways but you could paint it if you want to. Finish painting the handle black. I think it's super fun. And I let it dry, let it dry overnight. And I added my little cute little pumpkins. I think it turned out so fun. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.